right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Um, just the last few moments of our show here, but enough time for us to talk a little bit about makeup and specifically how to find the right foundation for your skin. Now, foundation is one of, uh, I guess, the core elements really as far as uh, makeup uh, is concerned and there's all sorts of different formulas textures shades finishes and all of that can be a bit overwhelming for someone especially if you are new to makeup if you're just trying to figure this out for yourself you just want something that you can slap on your face and head out the door looking pretty good and so um, here with me is Cindy Kemunto who's the owner of Makeup World Kenya to just discuss how to find the right foundation for yourself Karibu sana to the show Asante all right so so, um, uh, how long have you been doing makeup yourself? Um, probably like four years. Four years now. But mainly for like a year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Business wise. Business wise. Yes. Okay. It's something you've always loved? Yeah. I've, al I've always loved doing makeup. Okay. Yeah. And for you, like when you went to buy your first foundation, how mm -hmm. was that for you? Um, I kind of knew the foundation that I wanted because mm -hmm. I had tried them on before okay. and used probably my sister's foundation before I started doing my own. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't that hard for me to find my shade okay. because the people at the store help you get the correct shade of foundation that you need for your face. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, but that's that's good then because a lot of people especially if you're just kind of buying from a place that isn't necessarily a beauty uh yes. store it can be very difficult yeah right? it can because, be difficult yeah they may not necessarily allow you to test it or to to see you know what it would look like on your skin tone and then you walk out and you buy this foundation <laughs> it's sunday morning when you end a church and then you look like a ghost because <laughs> either the shade is just completely mm. off yeah. or you even bought the wrong um formula mm, that's right true. because yeah. you have to keep in mind your skin t your skin type as well yeah. tell me about how for um foundations uh, take that into consideration um, for a start um, about buying the right foundation at the right place that's very important because if you buy at a store without professionals that means probability is so high you're gonna get a wrong foundation because they always have to have testers mm -hmm. in the stores mm -hmm. like where you buy your makeup okay so if you find that they don't have a tester you really should question it because you don't want to buy something at this cost go home and find that you cannot use it right. and you can also not return it back to the shop absolutely so and also sad to say there's unfortunately also because the beauty industry is so huge yes there's also a lot of knockoff brands yes uh, and people are doing things that are not very kosher and so you don't want to be slapping on something on your face that they claim is one yeah. thing but then you find yourself breaking out yeah there's so many actually fake products in the market mm -hmm. so you need to buy your beauty products from a legit place yeah yeah and so even so foundation is not just about the shade of the foundation obviously making sure it matches your skin yeah. tone is very important because you want it to look like skin yeah like yeah. your skin you don't want yes. it to look like you've been painted it's just on. a cover-up mm -hmm. for your skin right but it has to look as natural as possible so you have to get the perfect shade for yourself right yes and then there's also um foundations for if you have oily skin there's a certain type of foundation or yes. you should take at least the one that is for oily skin yeah there are different types of foundations there's for normal skin there's for oily skin and for dry skin but it's it also uh, actually you also should apply a primer before mm -hmm. depending on your skin tone because there's also primer for dry skin normal skin and and oily skin mm -hmm. yeah so okay. you have to be really careful when you're choosing your foundation it's not just about the shade right yeah the other element then is the texture. There's different finishes. Yes. So some people want a very dewy look. Mm -hmm. Others want it more matte. Dewy looks are for who? People with what sort of skin? Dry skin. Dry skin. Yeah, dry skin. Because you cannot apply, uh, you cannot apply stick foundation on oily skin mostly. Okay. What happens? It. It, it kind of cracks. Okay. Yeah, it, th that's the foundation you are talking about, where you come out, uh, you come out on the sun and you're looking so Closely. weird. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I want you to walk us through the actual process mm -hmm. of 
um, figuring out your foundation okay. shade. So unless you're in a store, you would basically have to go and you at the supermarket or the counter or someplace and you're looking at different bottles and you're trying to be mad. This one looks like mine. This one looks like yeah. this one does not look like my skin tone. So how does mm -hmm. how do you actually test the shades uh, um, for your skin tone? Maybe you can demo that for us. Okay, so for her, so we have to, with me I have two Maybelline foundations. Mm -hmm. There's the cocoa and uh, caramel, mm -hmm. and she's a little bit in the middle of that. Okay. I, I love using liquid foundation because it sits well on the skin and it's very easy to apply compared to stick foundation. Okay. That's why I have I don't have any stick foundation here with me. So of all so, the colors, so to begin with, um, one would have to look at various colors. Various, so those yes. other colors don't. You have seem to. Yeah. This is like, too dark for her. Okay. This is Revlon. That and one, this is also too dark. too dark for her. But you can actually use all this on one face for contour. Okay. Yeah. All right. But for the moment, we're just doing For foundation. the moment, we're just doing foundation. So, so, so far, we've seen, at least from the so packaging, far, those yeah. two seem too dark. At least three. These three could potentially yes. work on her. Okay. Could work on her. So go ahead. Now, what would you do? Okay. So for now, we have... I don't really like using... Most people use the hand to test their foundation mm -hmm. colors, but... Sometimes the, the it doesn't match. Yeah, it doesn't match. Okay. So for this, I'll just put it on my hand first. I'll put three, the three different you foundations go on one my hand. So you'll get confused. No, I can't get. Confused. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we can just try. We've started with this shade, which is actually not her shade. Okay. So I have to use. I can just go ahead. Yeah, and yeah. Tap it on her skin. Please do. If you need to stand, you can do so as well. Okay. Let me just do this. I'm 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 going to use a brush for the trials. Okay. For now, yeah. All right. So just a little on on each side. Sorry. So you do it on the side, like from the jaw down. Is yeah, that what you can doing? just test on, probably on around this area because okay. when you're doing the contours, this is always matches with the neck, as you can see. Okay. But some some parts of the faces are not are are not always the same color. All right. Yeah. So if we try this one, actually, it's her shade. That looks like her shade? Yeah. Okay. Let's this watch this the is other almost ones, her though. shade, mm -hmm. as you can see. Okay. Let's try these other ones. So which one was that one that you swatched? That's MAC. The MAC one. Okay. Yeah, the MAC one. Okay. It's a little bit dark, All but right. it looks like her shade. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's MAC. And this is Maybelline in caramel, which is not her shade. Too you can light. see that is too light. Okay. Yes, that is too light. All right. Then there's this other one. Oh God. <laughs> I have to open it. <laughs> it's a little bit stuck. Okay. Wow. Uh, can you open it? Oh, you've gotten see. something? I think it's a little, but we can work with this first one. As you okay. can see, it worked well. I love this one. Okay. This would have worked as well. Okay. But it's a different company. But as we can see, Sorry. Sorry. but as we can see, this is almost yeah, it's, perfect. It's completely almost yeah, it's compl um, disappeared into her skin. Yeah. So that's what you want. Yeah, this is what we work with because it. You, you actually cannot notice it. Mm -hmm. You can notice this other light one, but mm -hmm. you can't notice this other dark one. Okay. So that was this, this is, one. Yeah. This is what we are going to work with. Okay. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So once now you have the right shade of foundation, mm -hmm. um, actually, let me see. Yeah, it does blend into her skin uh, yeah. quite well. Um, maybe, you'd, I guess with the highlighting, now you'd bring back some more dimension yes. into yes, her yes. face. Um, so then what then do you do? You've identified your right foundation shade. Yes. What next now? So the next thing is identifying your powder. Okay. Yeah, you, you can't choose a powder that's either too light or... Or maybe too dark, okay. Because it's gonna spoil the foundation shade that you you head on. It's All either right. going to make it pop, or it's going to make it maybe look darker than it was. Okay. So 
And after this? And how do you apply the foundation? Do you use a, is it better to use your fingers, a brush, a sponge? You can either use your fingers, you can also use a brush, and you can also use a beauty blender. Okay. Yes. Um, what's mm. the advantage of one over the other? Okay, so people, so many people have their differences when it comes to using brushes and beauty blenders because they both, it depends on your technique as okay. well. So for me, I can either use the beauty blender or the brush equally. Okay. okay. But so can we try like that side with the beauty blender and one side with the beauty blender and one side with the brush just to see okay. what sort of difference it would make? Okay. Although I feel like we need a wet wipe or something yes, to remove do. this yeah, one. Yeah, we need to. <laughs> we need <laughs> or maybe we'll just have to use one of your brushes to scoop it out okay. for I'm now. This. Um, and then I'm you can show us. This other one. Okay. Let me scoop this out. Yeah, first. there we go. As you can see, it's so light. Yeah. All right. So, mm -hmm. so on one side of the face, let's do the foundation that we've identified. Is mm -hmm. uh, our model's name is Ivy. Uh, Ivy's uh, skin shade. Mm -hmm. So now we're testing out, you know, whether to use a brush or a sponge. So on that side, what are you going to use? So let me use uh, the sponge on this side. Okay. First. Okay. Or let me use the brush. Not the brush. Start okay. with the brush. <laughs> okay. So you just put a little bit yeah. on your hand. It's better to start with the little, isn't it? Yeah. And then build your way. Then build your way. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. So what is the technique? As you do it, please describe it for us. Okay. So I'm. I'm going to. You have to hold your brush the right way, mm -hmm. and you also have to go in a specific direction because you don't want you, you don't want to keep on repeating on the same right. area and keep on building up the foundation. It will make it look cakey. Right? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. So for daily application, this is always easy. Mm -hmm. You can start with the. This but if, if one goes to the store and they can't find their actual shade, can you mix it with something? Yes, you can definitely mix it. So in this case... if I didn't have this exactly this exact shade of her foundation, mm -hmm. I, would have, I would have mixed the cocoa and caramel. Okay. Yes. And for now, you don't feel you need to mix this one that we've identified? Do you think it's, it's her skin? Mm, not yet. Okay. Let's first do this. All right. Let me see. So it looks like you're just see, using strokes. Yeah, I'm just using downward strokes. Yes. Okay. Which one is typically faster, the brush or the sponge? The brush is actually faster because for the sponge, it picks the foundation once you've placed it. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep on building up. Okay. Yes. All right. So again, if you're just tuning in, what's happening here is we're learning about foundations and how to pick the right foundation. So um, Cindy Kemunto here is has identified Ivy, our model's uh, foundation shade, and is now applying one side of her face with a brush just so that we can test out the techniques. So far, she says that it's, it's probably faster to with brush. a brush. Yes. Okay. Alright, that seems to be coming along pretty well. Yes. And as you can see it's the correct shade with the it matches with the neck. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. And that is actually that is also another important thing to note. Mm -hmm. While you're picking your foundation, just make sure it matches the rest of your body. Right. Yeah. Because you might find that maybe your face is darker or lighter. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Approximately how long do you think it should take or one would take to put their makeup on in the morning? Like if you're just doing a very simple thing, you just want your foundation, like like say foundation for example. Just foundation. Mm -hmm. Even five minutes. Five minutes. But maybe because we take time doing our makeup yeah. for a simple look, like 10 minutes is enough. Getting your foundation, your eyebrows okay, and your eyebrows done, maybe some lip gloss. Okay. As you can see. Yeah, maybe we can have her turn her face so that we can see. Oh, that looks great. Yeah. Matches her quite well. It's covered up. Yeah. Okay. So what happens when someone has put 
too much foundation. We were saying to start with a little bit at a time. So, but if supposing like Nimenda Nimemwaga too many pumps of the foundation and now I feel like it's way too much product on my face, what do I do? You have to wipe it off because you're going to be so uncomfortable for the whole day. Wipe it off? You can't just like blend it with a brush or something? You can, br you can blend it with the brush but you have to use some it's a whole lot of process, so it's always good to start with very minimal foundation first. Okay. Because uh, as you can see, we didn't apply the primer. That's why her, her face is shiny, as you can see. Mm -hmm. But it's going to set maybe after some time. Okay. But if you put some powder on it, everything is going to set settle down. It. Okay. It's going to settle down. Well. All right. So let's try yeah. the other side now with the beauty blender. And you can see the foundation is a perfect shade. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the other side you're using the sponge. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use the is sponge. Is it supposed to be wet or damp or how yeah, do you Yeah, it's supposed to be damp. Okay. Yeah, because this is damp. That's all right, good. Yeah. The dampness helps spread out the product better. Yeah, it helps for the foundation to set in well. Okay. So I know you said the it will mm -hmm. be faster with the brush, but does the sponge give sort of like a different finish Dep sometimes it does depending on the type of foundation as well mm -hmm. and how someone is applying it i like dabbing the foundation in yeah use it when, when i'm using the brush mm -hmm. as you can see there's no much difference really but if you're applying a full makeup mm -hmm. you'll notice that the you have to use the blend i use the blenders mostly when i'm starting out my makeup okay. so it doesn't wipe off the makeup right, compared right. to the brushes so until you figure out your techniques and yeah. that you've bought the right because there's also quality of brushes yes that matters yeah. you don't end up with those streaks yeah. so it seems like the the sponge is what should give you a more natural more airbrushed finish for a natural look the sponge is really is good. the best yeah okay I mean, her skin Basically. looks really good from this yeah. side. Um, and the color, yeah, it just kind of, it, it really melts into her skin, which again yeah. is the idea here. Yeah, it is really good. Okay, so let's look at her face. Ivy, we're going to have you turn to camera too. All right, there you go. So this side is the one with the beauty blender. Blender, yeah. And the other side is with the brush okay so the difference may not be that noticeable but i kind of love this yeah i like the sponge too <laughs> I, lo I love the sponge <laughs> um and yeah. at least you can see that the shade is nice it gives her a nice like even a skin tone yes. and then from here you can go on with now all of the other processes right so you're yes. contouring or you're highlighting yeah. you're and setting this of course if you didn't use a, a primer specifically yeah Great. Well, I hope you guys have learned something here today. Thank you, <laughs> Cindy. Thank you, Ivy. You're welcome. <laughs> um, our model and our um, Cindy, who here runs Makeup World Kenya, is your site, is it for the selling of makeup? Do you do makeup? I'm a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Yes. How and do I'll, people get in touch with you? On Facebook at Makeup World Kenya, on Instagram, Makeup World Kenya as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for coming through to the show. Thank and you. thank you guys for watching. We've come to the end of our programming today. Mm -hmm. I certainly hope that you've enjoyed it and learned a thing or two. Let's meet here again tomorrow for even more Full Circle with Joyce. Until then, God bless you and have a wonderful day. Ciao.